This is changing the game for farms, and we're going to look at a bunch of cool gadgets this morning. Yeah, Michael Marks live in Woodland, where there is a tech forum highlighting the future of farming. Michael, we think of farming being like and plants Whoa. and stuff, but it's actually pretty there high it tech. Is. There it that. is, you guys. That is, that is Gus. <laughs> Gus stands for Global Unmanned Spray System. That's a 24 Spray inch system. by eight or 24 feet by eight feet wide. And you can operate this 24 hours a day, day and night. Uh, the company that built this is out of Kingsburg. Well, here it turns. Did you hear the horn? It knows when it's at the end of a row and it will blow its horn in case somebody's around. Okay, that's oh cool. my goodness, it's Look amazing. Hey, th this is Gary Thompson over here. You guys built this thing for what purpose? So it's a driverless orchard sprayer. It's meant for orchards like almonds, pistachios. It goes through and sprays uh, pesticides and fertilizers on the crop to make uh, beautiful, healthy crops. How many of Gus's are around operating these days? 255 of them between the U.S. and Australia. No way. And uh, you've got them all over California. Are you up in Washington, Oregon? Where else do you have these things? Yeah, correct. And as well as Arizona, Florida, Georgia, and Michigan. That is, uh, that is absolutely uh, amazing. Uh, 250, how many acres has this thing gone over? So we've covered over 2.1 million acres since the start. Oh, oh wow. my goodness, and there's not That's a person so cool. in there. Uh, and here's Chris, Chris is actually operating this. Uh, come over and see Chris. Chris, you first have to map the field. Uh, you've, got to, you've got to configure the sprayers, align, uh, align the routes. How do you map that field? Yeah, you basically, um you know, here, I'll pause it real quick so I can show you. So I'll hit the pause button. It's as simple as that. Um, but basically, yeah, you just make a geofence and you type in your row spacing and it creates all these driving lines right here. Um, and then from that point, you can pull in with your truck and just ground truth with GPS, you know, breadcrumbs and <laughs> it makes it all uh, straight and ready to go. High tech breadcrumbs. Oh my goodness. <laughs> uh, Chris actually could be in Maui right now. He can operate a a actually up to eight Gus's at one time uh, in an orchard or in a field. Uh, we want to take a look. How does this thing know how to drive, uh, Gary? There, you've got a couple systems, of course, GPS, longitude and latitude, geocodes, and then you've got what's called LIDAR. Explain what LIDAR is. Yeah, correct. So this is the LIDAR sensor right here. It's basically a laser sensor, looks out in front of the vehicle, sees obstacles to stop for, and also looks at the tree trunks and centers the machine down that tree row. So that's a so that's exactly how they know the very center of any. Uh, now, what crops do you have this in here in California? Mostly almonds and pistachios, uh, citrus as well, vineyards, uh, stone fruits, apples, cherries, crops like that. Oh, that that is absolutely made. And by the way, I wanted to show you something. Uh, you've got a, a live camera here, uh, and those are two cameras, so you can have 3D uh, photos, right, of of an orchard. Correct, so those cameras can actually detect humans and as well as vehicles, tractors, other things like that for safety reasons. All right, that's awesome. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is Gus, autonomous Gus. Uh, yeah, uh, Jetsons is right. And in the next, uh, coming up, I'm gonna show you how they weed uh, the fields today. Yeah, you'll be amazed by this. So I'm, stick around. I'm just saying the caravan has 196,000 miles on it. We don't know how much longer it's going. Maybe we get a Gus. <laughs> they get a Gus? Slap my face on the side of it? I was also thinking of other applications. Like, mm. what if you filled it with beer, Ooh. put taps on the side, and had it go up and down the Vegas Strip? <laughs> I'm surprised they haven't done that already. College football tailgates? Oh, yeah. <laughs> SEC Saturdays? Yeah. Fill it full of, um, what's the cinnamon whiskey? The, the Fireball. fireball. Fill yeah. it full of fireball? Mm-hmm. Just saying. I think you're on to something. There's a world of possibilities. Yep.